Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. The Partners for the Future program started about 25 years ago. It was actually started by Professor Watson, Jim Watson here at the lab. And um, it's really a program to allow uh, high school students to explore uh, research at the lab and to do cutting edge research. We get applications from many local high schools and uh, we, we rate the applications based on the, an essay that the students write and any previous experience they have in research. We expect them to spend about 10 hours a week in the lab, so often they come after school in the afternoon or early evening or sometimes at the weekend. And at the end of the program they give a talk about their research and it's, it's great for me to see the progress that they make in building their confidence and uh, being able to talk about science to a, to a wide audience. So you're going to meet uh, Catherine and jo Johannes. Um, actually, um, Catherine has been working in my lab and we work on plant genetics. So we try to understand how plants grow and develop through using genetics. It's been estimated that we need to produce uh, double the amount of, uh, of agricultural output in the next 20 years. That's a really huge uh, challenge. And so we need, and especially as we have limited resources, especially land and water. So we really, really, really need to breed better, more productive plants, which is what our research is aimed towards. I love being in the lab, getting to learn new things, exploring questions that don't have answers necessarily to. You know, science never stops. There's never a set rule. It just keeps growing and growing, and there's more to explore. I've been working with plasmodesmata located proteins, or actually mutations in those genes, and seeing how that might be affecting the morphology of a plant called Arabidopsis. The white high plants, there's no mutation in that plant. Another population is the plants that we already knock out some genes that change the genetic of the plants. All of these are the mutants. And now we're going to go in and examine these plants to see if there's any um, changing in the way the plants grow when they have the mutation. We put the seeds on an agar plate just to see which ones germinate, and then the ones that do germinate are the ones that get transplanted onto the soil. We need to look at them under the microscope and because some of the plants would have a change in the shape of the leaves or the size of the leaves that um, with just the naked eye we, we wouldn't be, be able, able to, to see. see. It's a great opportunity that I've been granted and I'm very, very thankful of it, getting to actually work with um, scientists and getting to see the actual science as it's being made. I got very curious when I came to this country because I'm from Guyana. All of a sudden I started getting a rash in my skin. So for a whole year I had to detox for the whole year. So that's when I started getting interested in food engineering, basically, and GMOs and genetically modified organisms. Right here, we're working on trying to use antisense oligonucleotides to inhibit um, nonsense-mediated mRNA decay. Well, basically, we're just trying to suppress something on the gene so that the gene can work by using retrude drug therapy. We're trying to find cures for different diseases. We're talking about cystic fibrosis. With cystic fibrosis, you have the CFTR gene, and also you have Rett syndrome. Um, MECP2 gene. I most likely will do research in college because what I learned in this program is how to work in a lab basically, how to work at a bench, how to have proper courtesy in the lab. This is a, uh, the tissue culture room where we culture a uh, human cells and Johansi does experiments using these human cells. We don't know who these cells come from. Um, some of these cells have uh, the genetic diseases that, are, that uh, we are trying to treat with the tool that we're developing uh, with Johansi's help. He asks great questions, um, he's very dedicated, uh, he takes the train every day to the lab um, and he stays late all the way to the, uh, sometimes uh, and then he goes, to, goes back to school the next morning. Whoever is interested in science and they want to explore, they should definitely try and apply to this program because it opens a lot of doors, like especially in your mind to see like what you're capable of doing. If I got to the choice between, you know, let's go to the mall and walk around or let's go to the lab and get to do an experiment and maybe find out something new, I'm definitely going to go for the lab.